was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in a building with another Pinger. Now, first things first, before we go ahead and get started, as always, I gotta go ahead and say thank God, King Jesus, for another day and another opportunity. And as y'all can see from the looks of the title and the screen, today, man, I got a very special build in store for y'all. Now, this is gonna be one of the most rare and best big man builds that you can use in NBA 2K24. And the build name is gonna come out to a pass first big. Now, out of all NBA players, this one's going to be reminding me of Prime, DeMarcus Cousins. And as far as for attributes, the ones that can reach a 100 plus is going to be our standing dunk, free throw, pass accuracy, interior defense, block, offensive rebound, strength, and even our stamina. Now, we're also going to be able to get the elite, big man, contact dunks, and also most of the higher upgraded dribble packages. Now, as far as for our badges, we'll be able to get 14 bronze, 13 silver, 14 gold, and then one Hall of Fame. Now, look, before we get any further into this video, if it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, smash that like button, turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family, and last but definitely not least, comment down TJ for thank God King Jesus and where you're tuning in from and I most definitely will be sure to get back to y'all with the response. So let's get started, we gotta go ahead and put this build under the center position. As for the height, leave this at 7 feet exactly. Move the weight 3 ticks up to 256 with a wingspan of 710. Now from here we will be all set to move forward and the first area that I do want to get into is going to be the finishing. So when it comes to our close shot I'm going to go ahead and put this up to a 55. Moving on to our driving layup I'm going to go with a 56. And then as for our driving dunk I decided what's best is going to be a 76. Now to wrap everything up for the finishing go ahead and put your standing dunk up to a 90. And this is what the build is going to be looking like on this end. Make the post control up to a 35. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and get into the shooting. I will be sure to go through the badges once we upgrade the build to 99. As for this mid range shot, I'm going to go with a 59. And as for when it comes to our 3 pointer, I think it's going to be best at a 74. Now for the free throw, go with an 80. And this really sets you apart from most bigs. Having 3 points on silver makes a huge difference, especially in the rack. Now moving on to the pass accuracy, put this up to an 86. And then as for the ball handle, I put this build up to a 62. Now for the speed with the ball, I'm going to go with a 51. And then as for this interior defense, this is where things start to get really special. So go ahead and put this up to an 82. As for when it comes to our perimeter defense, I decided to go ahead and put this to a 58. Now you can go ahead and raise these numbers if you want to, just to make the build a little bit more versatile. But once it comes to the steal, I decided to go ahead and put this to a 70. Now as for the block, I'm going to go with a 92. Same exact thing for our offensive rebound. And then moving on to the defensive, I'm going to go with a 77. Now it really comes down to how you seek this build fit for yourself and playstyle, but I think so far we're pretty good for the attributes, especially when it comes to the main four categories. Now moving on to the physicals, go ahead and put your speed up to a 65. As for the acceleration, I'm going to leave this at a 50. Go with the strength of a 95, and then moving on to our vertical, I'm going to go ahead and put this up to a 75. Now go ahead and put the rest of the attributes into our stamina, and this is what the build is going to be looking like maxed out at 99 overall. Now as you can see with the badges that we did unlock for the physicals, all of these are going to play a huge effect with the build moving forward, so let's go ahead and get started with the finishing. Now I like badges like Fast Twitch, we're also going to be able to get Giant Slayer, Spot Finder and Whistle is definitely important. Now I also do like Gold Spin Cycle as well as Aerial Wizard. Then from there, we get Posterizer, Slithery, Two Step on Silver, and then for the actual Standing Dunk, Rise Up, Aerial Wizard, and Precision Dunker are all going to be on Gold. Now moving on to the Shooting, I like this set of badges as well. So look, we get Silver Catch and Shoot, Blinders and Green Machine, also Guard Up with Open Looks, 
as for the three pointer i think this build is definitely still effective now if you take into consideration adding in your takeover on top of that you also will be able to buy your own boost and the better you play throughout each game you'll be able to get a minor boost as well now as for the pass accuracy the badges that I like are going to be Gold Break Starter. We're also going to be able to get Special Delivery. Now from there, moving on to the ball handle. I really do like Big Driver on Silver. Now I use this on my main build as a 7-2 center and I think this badge makes a huge difference. Now as for the speed with ball, we're going to get the same exact result. And moving on to the defensive end. For that interior, we get Gold Anchor, Workhorse as well. Silver post lockdown for our perimeter. I think we're pretty much going to be able to guard a lot of different builds. Now look for our steel. I made sure we're able to get bronze interceptor and right stick ripper. For the block I like silver chase down artist with gold pogo stick. And then for the rebounding I think these are some of the best badges that you can go after. Now for the defensive you get the same exact badges as well. Now let me know down below your thoughts and opinion on this build. Is there anything that you would do to make it different? Now also something that I want everybody to take into consideration. If you do buy your own boost, that's going to be at least a plus 4 to 5. When you activate your takeover, or if you activate the Mamba mentality badge, that's a plus 10 towards all of these areas. Now also take into consideration the fact that you can wear gear, which will give you a plus 1 or more. You can also win unlimited boosts from the events as well as the daily spin. I've also gotten it on my center so I know it's definitely possible. But I really want to know your thoughts and opinions on what you would do to make this build even better. Now from here, let's go ahead and move forward to make sure that we made the build correctly. And if you followed along every single step of the way, we should be able to get these three comparisons. And as y'all can see together, we have created the pass first big in NBA 2K24 on next gen. Now there's definitely a few adjustments that you can make along the way, but with these attributes, I'm telling y'all, you're going to be able to dunk on the inside, be a true post scorer, and with the takeovers, you'll definitely be able to break ankles. Now take into consideration the boost that I did just mention, and before we get out of here, if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, smash that like button, turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family, and last but definitely not least, comment down TG for thank God King Jesus and where you're tuning in from, and I most definitely will be sure to get back to y'all with a response. And with all that being said though, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.